A gamer is someone that is invested in playing a lot of video games. Then again, that term is being thrown around because anybody can be a gamer today. The manager at work playing mobile games can be called a gamer. This is why those that play on consoles or PC frown upon being associated with such people. However, anybody can be a gamer today as long as you don't take these things too seriously. That being said, when anybody can be a gamer, these will include some of the most popular celebrities from Hollywood. The late Robin Williams was known to be a big time Legend of Zelda fan. He even named his daughter Zelda, and they both had a commercial for the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D for the 3DS. Celebrities are just people too, so why don't we dive in and see the top 5 celebrity gamers that you might not even know about. In relation to this topic, you should also check out our video about the top 5 games based on movies. Number 5. Jack Black Starting off our list is Jack Black, who is a renowned singer, actor, comedian, and of course, gamer. This tenacious celebrity has a liking for the classic arcade games. He actually has a YouTube channel called Jablinski Games that has been around for a couple of years. It has gone to be a bit of a mix from gaming and other things, but you can see videos of Jack and his son playing arcade games and hanging out in arcades. During the tenure of his YouTube channel, he has had his run playing Fortnite as well as titles such as Doom Eternal, Red Dead Redemption, and a couple of others. Let's also not forget that he started in both of the recent Jumanji movies, which are pretty much virtual reality games. In some fashion. Please don't kill me if that's incorrect. Then, there was a game called Brutal Legend, which utilizes Jack Black as the face and voice of the main character, Eddie. The character pretty much relies on the power of rock and roll, so you're also kind of reminded of his character from the movie School of Rock. Or even just himself in Tenacious D. Take your pick. It's actually a good game, so you might want to check that out. If you want to find out more about his gaming escapades, you might want to check out his channel and see what he's been up to. Number 4. Olivia Munn If you've been around the internet in the late 2000s, chances are you've seen Olivia Munn through several online shows. Attack of the Show was one of the best shows online, and she was one of the hosts of the show. She's also known for acting in some movies, like being Psylocke in X-Men Apocalypse, as well as starring in the 2018 movie The Predator. When it comes to her gaming background, she has been playing a lot of games in the past. She said that she loves playing first-person shooter games like the Call of Duty series. She was also addicted to playing Guitar Hero back when the game was at an all-time high. She still plays games today, and you might find her talking about what games she's been playing during the quarantine periods. She's gotten some flack in the past because people called her a fake gamer or nerd baiter. Whether you think that she's credible or not, there's no doubting that she has played her share of games and is pretty much knowledgeable when it comes to some things. Keep in mind she worked at G4, which is a network that revolves around tech and gaming. Number 3. Terry Crews Terry Crews, who is a retired football player and renowned actor, is also very big into gaming. You've probably seen some of his movies, and he is the dad in Everybody Hates Chris. He said stories in the past when he grew up playing classic Atari games. Basically, he passed through all of the different generations of gaming and is pretty much into a lot of games. FPS games seem to be more of his speed. He plays games like Call of Duty and Battlefield, along with fellow celebrity Snoop Dogg. The funny thing is that both of them have games based on them or uses their likeness. For example, if you look at a particular DLC for the Call of Duty Ghost game, you might just find a particular D-O-double-G in the ranks. In the case of Cruz, he is the main character of Crackdown 3. Whatever your opinion of the game is, is pretty much what most people would probably say. He was also campaigned to be the voice and likeness of Overwatch character Doomfist. Sadly, that didn't happen, so Doomfist is pretty much his own character. There's also a video of Terry making a PC with the help of some people. It pretty much confirms that he is into gaming, and he streams from time to time on his Twitch channel, so you might want to check that out. Apparently, he also streamed Danganronpa, which is very strange, but hey, gamers can play whatever they want, right? Number 2. Henry Cavill Taking the second spot on our list is the Man of Steel himself, Henry Cavill. If you didn't already know, Henry is one of those celebs that are considered a hardcore gamer. He is known for playing World of Warcraft and is believed to be a holy priest. Then again, let's not dwell on what race, class, and role he plays since you can make a lot of characters in the game. When World of Warcraft's classic was released back in 2019, Henry was one of the many people that posted stories on social media about his little gaming escapade. Another popular story that he once told is when he got the call from Zack Snyder that he was going to be Superman. Unfortunately, he had his priorities straight and he was doing a WoW dungeon raid and called Snyder back later, where the rest is history. Who knows, maybe Blizzard called him back as well in 2015 to star in the Warcraft movie. There's even a clip of him making his own PC. How good his PC building skills are is up to the experts. One other thing is that he stars as Geralt of Rivia in the Witcher series on Netflix. Seriously, from being a hardcore WoW raider and playing the Witcher himself, there's a lot of gamer credit going on here. 
Don't forget as well that he is or was Superman, which is unfortunate. Maybe he has a time to play Superman 64 now, which we don't recommend. One thing people talk about Henry being a gamer is that he's too handsome and physically built to be one. Wouldn't we regular gamers want to have a look like him while playing our cherished games? Number 1. Vin Diesel Gaming is all about family. Or not, because that was a horrible Vin Diesel impression, I am so sorry, but that's probably what Vin Diesel would say as he takes our number one spot. Vin is known for his role as Dom in the Fast and the Furious movie series. If you hadn't already known, Fast 9 just released, so why don't you check that out? He has mentioned in the past that he has played a lot of the classic titles. He's mostly into fantasy games, and the biggest one he's played is World of Warcraft, much like Cavill. Apart from being a hardcore gamer, he's also deep into Dungeons & Dragons, which is very interesting. The movie The Last Witch Hunter is actually based on his fantasies when it comes to D&D. Vin has done a lot of things for the gaming industry in general, and not just play them. Back in 2002, he founded Tygon Studios, which is a small video game development company. It hasn't released a lot of games, but the ones it did features Vin Diesel as the main character. That's because three of the games are The Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay, Assault on Dark Athena, and The Merc Files. Vin starred as Riddick in the movie, and it goes to show that his passion for gaming goes beyond just playing it. On a side note, Tygon Studios is also the same studio that gave us Fast and the Furious Crossroads, which is considered to be a laughable game. On a positive note though, ARK 2 was announced back in the 2020 Game Awards. ARK 2 is a sequel to ARK Survival Evolved. The game is set to release in 2022, and based on the trailers, the character looks like Vin Diesel and even has his voice. It's interesting to note that Vin has stated, and even Microsoft confirmed it, that he has played over 1,000 hours in ARK. He also gets an executive producer credit in the title of President of Creative Convergence, whatever that means. Nevertheless, Vin is always welcome to the family of being hardcore gamers. These five celebrities are just a couple of those that can be tagged as gamers. There are a couple of them, but these celebs can go ham and play some of the most popular games of all time. Doesn't matter if you're a regular person or someone making big bucks in Hollywood, anyone and everyone can be a gamer. That's it for now, so hit like, comment, or subscribe to the Game Mag for more of your gaming-related content.